Lakshmi Saujanya's Diwali gift, Varudu Kavala Yenu, is 133 minutes, 133 minutes too long. It's a story of a director wanting to do something different, but not going beyond the point. Fortunately, not completely cliched. The story, simple story of a boy girl meet, fall in love angles why the boy and the girl misunderstand one another and finally get back to one another. As simple as this. I'm sure the story when told would have been this. Boy in America, girl in India, both fall in love. Girl has attitude, boy has simplicity. Finally, they both get married. This is the story. How do you prop it up? So you have the girl who has a lot of attitude. You're going to know why she has it much later. Absolutely flimsy, wafer thin reason. The guy is a very calm, sweet, nice guy. No reasons for being so. He is. The, the path of both of them meet not once, but more than once. He comes to do a project. He runs into his benefactor and friend's father, Jay Prakash, who is also the financer boss for the girl, Bhumi, played by Ritu Varma. And the boy, Akash, is Nag Shaurya. And the Bhumi and the Akash is the love story that we are talking about. The problem with the film is, the fulcrum to the film is Ritu Varma playing Bhumi. She fails to deliver. While she's amazingly well-dressed in the film, Amazing ethnic saris, both for her and for Nadia as her mother. She fails to carry out the burden of the script, which is so dependent on her. Shaurya is the man who's supposed to go along the story, does it to a large extent. Why she does, she carries a very feudal vertical at work totally out of sync with contemporary times. She does not seem to be even aware of it. And to believe that today a corporate world takes all that is probably Lakshmi Saujanya's dated approach or understanding of how contemporary corporate work works. The two meet. There's obviously good chemistry between them. And then there are distractions as to why they can't marry one another. Finally, of course, you know by the back of your hand that they are going to meet up and all is going to end well. In terms of performances, Murli Sharma as the father and Nadia as the mother of the girl come up with very polished performances, apart from which Nadia showcases an amazing collection of good saris, which Ritu Varma also does in certain portions of the film where she's supposed to wear a sari, which has a cause again in the film. Nothing more to say about it. Two good comedies at the later part of the film, which makes it worth watching for a few minutes. Otherwise, unless you are one of those who say, 133 minutes, Janido, let's go and invest in a movie. At least there's a feel-good factor in the film. It's good on the eye. It's not shrill on the ear. And that is what Varudu Kavalayano offers to you. Sign off with acknowledgments to Datu and Abhinav.